Yo guys, what's up? It's Callum Dolby back again with another posh preview. Um, so this game is tomorrow evening, um, the Tuesday evening. Uh, it's against Portsmouth at Fratton Park and this is a must win. I cannot stress that enough. This is a must win. I'm going to just quickly show you the table now. Uh, you'll see the table instead of my face for just two seconds. So there you go. You've got... Um, Peterborough United 7th place, 66 points, so we need to win to get up to 69 points and then it goes to the last game of the season on the uh, Saturday where Doncaster are facing Coventry and we're facing Burton. So if we can win our last two games and Doncaster draw their last game, that's it, we're in, we're up, uh, we're in sick, we're in the playoffs. Is it going to happen? Maybe. Maybe. Stranger things have happened in football, but I'm just going to run through my lineup, my predictions... Um, and all that good stuff. So I'm going to show you my lovely, lovely face again. Hey. Anyway, let's get into my predicted lineup. So I'm going to rattle through this because I took quite a long on the last one. So I'm going to go number one, Chapman in goal, two, Naismith um, at right back, and then I'm going to have Tafazoli and Knight at centre back. If uh, Tafazoli's still injured, then it's have to, going to have to be Bennett, but um, I really don't want it to be because he's God awful. Uh, left back would be Lafferty. If Ward can play left back, I'd definitely start him to give Lafferty a rest. And to be honest, I really don't rate Lafferty. So um, if Ward can play left back or Naismith can play left back, then I'd have Ward in. But I reckon it's going to be Lafferty. So I'll go with Lafferty. Um, I'm going to go with a diamond formation, a 4 4 2. So at the base of the diamond, I'm going to have Woodyard because to be honest, he runs his bollocks off and he is like. He, he was one of the best players um, at Saturday on, uh, against Walsall, so um, I'd definitely give him another go. Uh, right mid, I would go with Marcus Madison. Now, I, I am aware that him and Dembele, who I'm going to put a left mid as well, they both went missing against Walsall. They didn't hardly do anything. They barely had any successful dribbles. Madison's crosses was awful um, but when you've got them two like quality players in your team you, you just have to play them so yeah uh, left mid and uh, right mid I'm going to go with Madison and Dembele uh, the t at the tip of the diamond so centre attack in midfield I'm going to go Lee Tomlin now I know he hasn't been too good since he's come back but um, in these sorts of games I think obviously because Cooper's injured I'm not sure how long he's out for but he's probably out for the rest of the season so I think Tomlin will slot into that role just behind the two strikers very nicely um, and a game against Portsmouth when they're third in the league and also fighting to get in the uh, top two for automatics because if they win um, they need Barnsley to lose and them to win their last game then they're second so they'll definitely be up for it still um, but yeah, uh, that's that's my reasoning for putting Tomlin in. He is a quality player. Uh, we haven't seen a lot of his quality yet since he's come back to us, but um, hopefully we'll see it in this game. And then up top, I will have Ivan Tony and Matt Godden. Uh, both of them have got over 15 goals this season, so there's no reason not to play them together. Um, they had some nice link-up play uh, the week before last. I think it was against Sunderland, that's it, Sunderland. Um, they had some nice link-up play there, so I'd like to see them both get a chance. We need to go two up top. We need to attack Portsmouth. Um, and yeah, I think that's the best way to do it, to go over Diamond, Madison, Dembele, Tomlin. Tony and Godden all on the pitch at the same time could cause real problems, even for a top team like Portsmouth. Um, so yeah, that's my predicted lineup. Um, score prediction, I'm going to go with a 2-1 posh. I know that, like... That's bold. Yeah, I get it. That is very bold of me to say 2-1 two, two, posh, but I guess that's more of me being hopeful than realistic, but um, that's what these videos are all about. Um, I reckon we'll go 2-0 up, and they will score another one in like the 80th minute, and then we'll just hang on for like 15 minutes, obviously including added time. So yeah, that's, that's my score prediction for that game. Um, I don't think there's too much else to talk about in this one. Obviously, I'll be doing my review afterwards. I'm not going to this game because... Um, <laughs> I can't afford to go to a port like to Portsmouth on a Tuesday night, unfortunately. Um, so I'm not going to this one, but um, I'll be going to the last game of the season against Burton. So make sure you watch out, watch out for the vlog on that one on Saturday evening. Um, but I'll be doing a posh pre uh, posh review um, of the Portsmouth game probably Tuesday night, and then it will be uploaded like a maybe probably 10 p.m. Tuesday night. It's say say about there. Keep them keep them daily up go uploads going. You know what I mean. So yeah, that that's it. I say two one two one posh. Um, 
goal scorers, I'll go with Tony and Godden. I think the strikers, they both need some confidence. Say if we actually get in the playoffs, our strikers just aren't scoring at the minute, so they both need some confidence. So I think them getting a goal each would be awesome for us going into the going into the last day of the season and maybe even the playoffs. Is it possible? Probably not, but I'm as hopeful as ever. Um, so make sure you like the video um, or dislike it if you didn't like it. You know, it's up to you. <laughs> Comment down below if you agree or disagree with my score prediction and my lineup. Um, share it around with your Peterborough United fans, I guess. Um, I definitely will. Uh, share it around to your football friends. Maybe some of you, some of you support Portsmouth. You could probably show them this as well. That'd be pretty cool. To get their get their point of view, and definitely subscribe to the channel. I think we're on sixty three right about now, so that is really good. That's thank you for the support on that. And I think my Walsall vlog has nearly got three hundred and fifty views now. So really awesome stuff, guys. Keep keep on smashing it, definitely. Um, but yeah, that's that's about it from me. Um, like I said before, like, share, and subscribe, and um, I'll see you guys later. And as always, cheers.